Hi, this is Dinesh Raghu. So I am here to show demo how to set a, an, a user for the event sync with the Salesforce to Google. So here I have created a, an automation to automatically create an event whenever an opportunity is created with estimated ship date. So if the estimated shipping date is not, it's not empty, then it will create a, an a event automatically. So with the details from the option record. And the same, it will create a new event record whenever the estimated shipping date is changed for the same opportunity. And uh, also it will delete the existing event created for the same opportunity with the previous estimated shipping date. So I have made a automation like that. So it will automatically create the event. Next, we need to sync the event to Google account. For that, I have set up the instant activity catcher. I'll show you instant here I have configured the instant activity capture for the calendar sync. So it is not enough. We need to assign a permission set to the users who wants to sync their Google calendar or other calendar. So I'll show you the permission set. Go to the permission set in setup and you will find the permission set name called Salesforce Einstein Activity Capture. So first we need to assign this permission set to the users, to all the users from installation team. So we need to assign this permission set to them by clicking on add assign on your production org. So here list of users will displace by selecting them one by one and then clicking next it will automatically add assignment to the permission set. After assigning this permission to the users first I will add this user like uh, John Green. So this is the user what I will using now system administrator. So I will assigning this permission set to this user for now. We'll remove this actor. So we set the expiration date like this and I will assigning this permission set for this user. Afterwards, I have to open the settings for the user from their own login. So the installation user have to log in their account and open these settings on their profile. After opening settings, type search for the instant activity or connected accounts. It's a bit loading. So here, this window also look like the same as setup. We will search for, first I will show you the email which he needs to connect here. John Green has this email as personal. So he needs to connect this email account on connected accounts to sync their Google events from Salesforce to Google. So here, after clicking this email and calendar accounts on under the connected accounts, here they need to sync their Google account by clicking like this. After connecting their Google account here, then the new events will sync to their Google. I don't have access to their email. So I will show demo on my dev org, like how to connect email account to the Salesforce. So I have already enabled the instant activity capture. Look at here, I have enabled. And also I have assigned permission set for my user record. So directly I will open settings on my user profile, connecting my Google account, which is I have already in my personal email. This is my personal email. So email ID I want to connect for now. So under this connected accounts, I will click this email and the calendar accounts. So I will delete this for now and I'll show you once again how to connect. By clicking on this new account, we will go to the Google or office some whatever you want to connect with that. So I have this Google account in my laptop. So I will give access to this by clicking hello. It will provide access to Salesforce. That's it. The Google account will automatically connect to the Salesforce. Then the newly created events on the calendar will automatically sync to our Google account. I will open my calendar here. This is my calendar on my same user. Okay, so once the new event is created on Salesforce, it will automatically sync. So I will show you the demo. I will creating a new event with the name as new test opportunity. You can also look up for this event like any test records. This is a contact record. Here you can also change opportunity or account. That's that's not a big deal. It will not uh, show in Google. Only the subject and the location and the start date and end date and the description will show in our Google. So I will type the opportunity name here. Installer name 
x y z i'll create it as a all day event on the 4th august so i'll save this event on here salesforce look in 24th august it will create an event in less than one or two minutes it will automatically stick the event to this google account yeah it is created here in uh, google also look this is the event which we created in salesforce it will automatically shows here so here the subject and the date of the event and uh, description what we gave up there if we add the location then it will also add the location here that's it this is the details what we can able to share from salesforce to this google event i hope this demo is useful to you how to connect your salesforce events to google account thank you